Hey y'all, welcome back to Mandy's Music Monday. It's me, Mandy. Um, number one, I want to say that Rod Stewart is playing in the background, Young Turks, and today is Phil Lincoln's birthday because today is not Monday. Today is Thursday, the whatever date it is. I don't know what date it is. Um, but let's talk about more important birthdays that happened this week. Um, and that would be David Bowie's birthday on January 8th. He turned 66. And, um, I'm sure you guys already know what I'm even going to be talking about because, um, it's Erwer. Um, he is coming out with a new freaking album. I'm, like, so freaking excited. I'm, like, really trying to contain myself right now. Like, like, I really wanted to do a video on Tuesday because this is what happened. I found out about it at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And, um... I was actually just getting ready to go to bed because I had to be to work at like 9 o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep. So I was up and I was like watching freaking YouTube videos and um, I was watching some uh, British TV, you know, normal things I do really late at night. And um, I decided, I'm like, well, I'm going to check my Facebook really quick before I go to bed. And one of my friends on there, her name is Angie and she is very much in love with David Bowie as much as me. She had posted that this link that he had just released this single and a video and I'm like shut up <laughs> whatever I'm thinking okay I'm gonna click on this because I've read rumors you know that he was like working on a new album and nothing ever came of it and all these um you know Rolling Stone released this big article which almost makes me wonder if they knew something that we didn't because they released this big thing in Rolling Stone last year and you know he was on the cover of Ziggy Stardust and they're talking about the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and you know he's like um you know he's retired since he had the heart attack and blah 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 and that we're probably never going to hear any more new music from David Bowie and <laughs> okay trying to center myself right now and not get too really excited but I read that and I was like no so I clicked it and then it was like oh my god video popped up and I'm like please shut up like I didn't want them to shut up but I wanted them to shut up because I was like oh holy a freaking a cow like even though it is so hard for me to contain <sighs> calm down maybe so I was so hyper that I think I stayed up till like 3 30 and I had to be work at 9 I had to get up at um 6 30 and um, it was ridiculous, but that moment will never ever happen again in my life probably because David Bowie has not released a new album in 10 years, okay? If this man goes on tour, I am about to sell all my possessions and hitchhike there. Really, I will, I'm will. i about to sell everything because I know I'm not going to be able to afford David Bowie tickets just on my salary. Um, I'll have to start selling some shit. All of it. You see that TV back there? For sale. For sale. This camera right here, it's for sale. My computer, for sale. Um, uh, oh, okay. I'm really excited, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, okay. So, the first one I want to talk about is Freddy's Dead. I've never seen this movie. Never seen this movie. Um, mainly because I don't like Freddy Krueger. He freaks me the F out. And I, I like scary movies. I don't really care too much for a lot of gore and a lot of blood and, you know, new ways to like chop a person up in 50 million pieces. Um, but anyway, this soundtrack, my friend Stephanie, she got it for me. It was actually somebody she worked with. Um, he liked really, you know, he liked horror movies and he had this and she pretty much begged him for it. And I'm not positive. I think she might've paid him for it too. And then she gave it to me because she loves me. And, um, this has, I'm awake now. And that song, it's amazing. I love that song. Love, love, love this song. Not the movie. Love the song. And there is also, you know what I mean is on here too. That is a really good song. Um, but I'm awake now. It's just, it's really good. And John Resnick just sounds so young. He sounds like a little baby. He sounds so cute. And uh, Two Days in February is on here too. Hmm. That's a really odd um, song to be on Freddy's Dead, but whatever. Um, the next one is Batman and Robin. This is the one, this is the crappy movie that George Clooney was in. Um, 
but it has Lazy Eye on there. And Lazy Eye is one of my all-time favorite Goo Goo Dolls songs. If they ever sang it live, I would probably spontaneously combust. No lie. I want to hear this song live so bad. And the sad thing is, is I'm pretty positive the very first Goo Goo Dolls, Goo Dolls concert I ever went to, which is when, in 98, I think was when Dizzy After Girl came out. Um, I'm pretty positive they sang it there, but I didn't know it then. And uh, I, I didn't appreciate it like I should have. Uh, it's a movie called Snow Cake, and it's got Alan Rickman in it. I brought it just so you could see what it was. And look how freaking cute Alan Rickman is smiling and wants to squeeze his face. Um, that's how I talk to my cat, by the way. But anyway, this movie is really, really good. Alan Rickman, he just got out of jail um, from killing someone. I think it was in a... I think it was in a car accident or something. I can't remember. And this um, Sigourney Weaver up here, he gives her daughter a ride. She's hitchhiking at this restaurant. And he gives her a ride. And the daughter, they get into a car wreck and the daughter dies. Okay. So he goes to wherever she's living at. I want to say, it's is it in Alaska or is it in Canada? I can't remember where... Um, they live, but he goes to tell Sigourney Weaver that his, her daughter has died. The thing is, is Sigourney Weaver has, um, what does she have? What does it say on here? She has some sort of mental, um, disorder. It's not Down syndrome. It's something else. Is it Asperger's or something like that where she's really high functioning intelligence wise, but she, you know, she still acts like a child. So he goes and he tells her, you know, that her daughter's died and, um, you know, things go on from there. But there's a song in here, um, and it's when he's driving to tell her that her daughter's died. Um, and, it, and the song uh, that's playing, it's by I Am Clute, and it's called The Same Deep Water As Me, and it is so freaking soothing. Like, I love this song. I love mellow music so, so much. I love 80s music, and I love extremely mellow music. And um, I am clued. I, I've got to be honest with you. I've never listened to the entire album. I've only just listened to the same, um, the same deep water as me. And it's it's so beautiful. And um, I'm not even sure if they have other. I think they have other albums because the reason I'm pretty sure they have other albums is because John Sim. I follow him on Twitter, and he's one of my favorite British actors. He likes I am Clute, and he just did a Twitter post about them the other day. And um, so yeah, I really need to listen to the rest of this, but uh, I bought this used, as you can see. Um, I got it from Ear Ecstasy, which is no longer open anymore, and that makes me sad. I love that place. The next one is I don't have this soundtrack, but it's one of my favorite movies of all time, and it's Pretty Woman. And um, me and Tiffany, one summer, we watched it every freaking day. Like we always watched the very beginning when King of Wishful Thinking was on, and uh, we would rewind it because we wanted to listen to that song again. Um, and then we always fast forwarded to, uh, the part where she was shopping and they wouldn't let her shop. Yeah. So you watch the beginning and then we fast forward to where they wouldn't let her shop. And then we watched it from there. We watched it every freaking day. That is absolutely no exaggeration. But the song that I like out of there is Roxette Must Have Been Love. Um, it's just a gorgeous song and Roxette has great short blonde hair. And, um, I think Roxette is still touring. I would I would go see Roxette right now. They have so much great music from the 90s. Um, tons and tons of songs. I would go see them right now. Okay, the next one is a very 80s movie, which I absolutely love. It's a breakfast club. And, of course, the song is Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me. I could, could listen to it all day long. Like I could listen to it on repeat and not get tired of that song ever. Um, especially at the end, because I like songs that have na-na's and la la's and songs like that, you know, and at the end it's na la 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 la. I like that. And I could just, I could rewind that and listen to that bit over and over and over again. And, um, and we went to a Sugar Ray, uh, Sugar Ray opened for the Goo Goo Dolls quite a few years ago. And, um, he, they did a cover of What is that song? It's not Mr. Bartender. It came out after Mr. Bartender. Um, when I think of it, I'll put the link down there. But anyway, it's he. they did a cover of an 80s song. And he was talking about how it reminded him of Molly Ringwald in The Breakfast Club. And remember when she's on top of the thing in the library and the way she was dancing? He totally did that dance and it was hilarious. What the F name is that song? Something Isn't it something about a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Urgh, it's going to bother me. But I'll put the link at the bottom. Um, 
the next one is David Bowie. <sighs> Calm yourself, Manny. And it is Stigmata, which is one of my favorite, 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 favorite movies. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I have seen Stigmata. A million gajillion times. It's got Gabriel Byrne in it, who is absolutely gorgeous, and I love him in all movies. But the song is um, Pretty Things Are Going to Hell. The thing is, is I have seen this movie 5,000 times, and I did not realize that I did not know that song was David Bowie. And I love that song. Like, every time it, they play it when they're in the... Um, she When she gets uh, the crown of thorns, and they're at this club... And I always liked it because it has like this really great guitar part in it. And um, I never knew it was him though until like I really, really started getting into Bowie. And um, I had to buy this off eBay. I was like, I need that song because first of all, I love that song. And it made me love it even more when I found out that it was Bowie because I didn't know it was him. In the movie though, it is like a different remix um, than I think what that song is on the hours. I think it's on hours. Um, it's a different remix, and I think it's even a different remix than what's on this, to be honest with you. Um, I can't remember because I, I I only listened to it like once or twice on here because I have it, you know, on my iPod thingy. Mm -hmm. Madonna. Damn you, Madonna, for distracting me. Oh, Mary, uh, Mary Mary is on here, and this... Um, it's by, oh man, why aren't they saying who it's by? Chumbawamba. Okay, Chumbawamba is, are the people who did tub thumping. Do you guys remember that song from the 90s? You know, when they sing in, when they're singing, I get knocked down. Okay, that's them. It's the girl that's in, um, that sings this song, and it is freaking awesome. I forgot Mary Mary was on here. Tiffany likes that one too. That song is great. And Natalie and Brulia had Identify on there, but I didn't really care to mention them. Okay, the next one is Practical Magic, Stevie Nicks. If you ever did believe, you can tell this CD is well loved because I, it's broken and I've drug it around with me everywhere. It's not even shiny anymore. Can you see that? Because it's all stuffed up because I've listened to it so much. If you ever did believe, amazing song, even though it's done with Sheryl Crow. Whatever. Sheryl Crow's not my favorite, and it's mainly because she was like BFS with Stevie Nicks in the early 2000s, and I didn't appreciate that at all. And then there is Pulp Fiction, which I've never seen that movie. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've never watched it all the way through. Um, it, it is You'll Be a Woman Soon by Urge to Overkill. It's actually a Neil Diamond cover. Um, it's just awesome, and I am a big Neil Diamond fan shocking. I don't know if that's shocking or not. I, you know, I like all types of music, but I love Neil Diamond, but this cover is just great because it really does have like more of a nineties feel to it. And the guy's voice is just really cool. And sometimes, you know how like you hear somebody's voice and then you imagine them a certain way and then you see them and they don't look like anything you thought they were supposed to look like. That's what happened when I seen the video and the band um, urged overkill. And the very last one is um, it's from the movie A Love Song for Bobby Long and that movie has got uh, Scarlett Johansson in it, John Travolta and Gabriel something. He's really hot. Um, movie is really really good it's kind of like an indie kind of movie i don't know that it got great reviews or it might have even went straight to dvd i'm not sure but i love that movie and it's a song it's called the rain song but on when i looked it up on the soundtrack it's listed as my heart is a lonely hunter i think that's what it is or my low yeah because it always reminded me of that Ruth mcintyre song um yeah i think it's called my heart is a lonely hunter in parentheses, Lorraine song, maybe. Um, and it's sung by, let me see, I wrote it down, Teresa Angerson and Grayson Caps. Grayson Caps is actually the son of the author of the book the movie is based on. I think I said that right. Um, it's just really like, the movie takes place in Louisiana, and so the song, um, talks about Louisiana and Pontchartrain and you know apparently that's in Louisiana somewhere and um, it's just it's so the lyrics are so good and it's just so mellow and the guitar part is just like doo -doo 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 -doo, you know it's just, oh, 
I love it. Um, and it makes you think like it just, it's one of those very descriptive songs that just puts you in that mood and in that place. And at that time, and, um, it's just, uh, there's a line in it. What is it? Let me get it in my head because now REO Speedwagon is playing. Um, hold on. Um, there's a line and it says all the words I never said gently bled from my mouth. I love lyrics like that. I mean, it's just great lyrically. It's just a great song. And um, I need to listen to it because I I, don't, I actually haven't listened to it in a really um, long so time. So that's it. Um, I'm probably going to post this today because I'm going to talk about Bowie and it's not going to be on Monday. So that means there probably won't be one Monday. So um, thanks guys if you stuck around and I'll talk to you later. Bye.